Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. Yes, indeed, folks. Sampler review series of videos I've been doing for a little while now. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. That was a hell of a snap. You got to give me that. You might not like my content. I don't know. But you got to give me that. That was a really good snap. I'm proud of that one. But anyway, folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm yammering about, yammering about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing grody work clothes. Typically, when I'm inside the truck and I'm wearing grody work clothes, that means I was on my way home from work and I found some shit to review for you. That is not the case with this particular item. Uh, though, I mean, I definitely did just get off work, which is why, by the way, I am super grody. So, but yeah, this was not an item that I picked up on my way home or anything. Uh, I bought this some weeks back and it ended up in my fridge and I finally was like, bah, 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 we'll review it. So, what am I bah, 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 reviewing today? Well, folks, it's an energy drink. It happens to be, boom, it's Bren Fuel. They, oh, Bren Fuel. This is specifically their peach mango cerebral nectar flavor. Ooh, all day focus. Let me get a thing for the thing before I lose my shit on this, because I will lose my shit on this. Let me get a thing like that. Ha 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 ha, Bren Fuel. What the fuck is Bren Fuel? So Bren Fuel is a, uh, like I said, it's an energy drink. It's one of these, like, things where it, like, promises a bunch of stuff, and if you drink it, you can fly for 20 minutes a day, and, you know, uh, you won't have to pay taxes every other year or some shit. Like, it's, it's got a bunch of stuff. It's, it's beetroot, probiotics, L-therithine, zinc, vitamin C and E, and creatine. Shake well, sip slowly, find your flow. So, here's the thing. I went over there, I reviewed Brain Fuel when it, like, first came out. Uh, I think like the first year that it was available, at least as far as I was aware, I reviewed one of their flavors. I think it was like their fruit punch and boy, oh boy, did I have fun with that review. Go back and watch it. That's genuinely probably one of my most fun reviews I've ever had because I looked up, I don't know if it's still there. I didn't, but I looked up like the mission statement from this company and oh my God, it was glorious. Like the founder was basically made out to be the second coming of Jesus. But we're just going to roll with this. We're going to, you know, enjoy and do the whole thing. Um, and then on top of that, I believe this is actually a Illinois-based product because it is apparently uh, distributed by Brain Fuel out of Chicago, Illinois. With that being said, this is going to end up on my Eating Out Illinois playlist, which is a playlist that just kind of highlights Illinois institutions and stuff. But let's go ahead and let's try some Peach Mango Brain Fuel. Smells peachy and mangoey. That's a good start. All right, then. Ooh. That has a lot of interesting things going on with it. Um, do you have sugar in you? Four grams of sugar, so it's not too bad. Uh, added sugars? Don't think so. think we're good on that. Oh, I don't know, man. It's weird. It's kind of good, but it's also kind of not good, I guess. It has sort of a syrupy flavor. Like, that's the best way I can describe it. Um, it definitely does have sort of a peach mango flavor. The flavors themselves are fairly well blended. Like, it's not like you're getting peach and then mango or vice versa. It really is just kind of, okay, you're just, you know, you're getting a nice blend of peach and mango. And those flavors work pretty well. You got the nice tropical flavors of the, uh, you know, the mango. And then you got kind of the sweet, almost earthiness of the peach. D yeah, they can play together. I can see how that works. Um, but after that, you get this really interesting flavor that, again, like the only thing I can kind of describe it as is sort of like a syrup or almost like a nectar kind of flavor or something. Like it's weirdly sweet but like also 
Yeah, it's weird. And then it's got kind of a, a tanginess, a little bit of a tartness to it. Um, hmm. I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm a little bit here or there on this one. I think overall I like it, but it's definitely weird. So, because the thing is, like, this, again, it, it's doing its own thing. And, well, kind of doing its own thing as far as, like, an energy drink is concerned. Because, you know, for the longest time, energy drinks were just energy drinks, and they were just doing their stuff. But then, like, in the past, like, maybe, I don't know, like, five years, probably longer than that, you know, they've started kind of being more like, oh, you know, we want to do all these other things and mental focus and blah, 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 blah all that good stuff. And as a result, there's been sort of like a, a bit of a split, you know, between your more traditional energy drinks, like your Red Bulls, your um, Monsters, what have you, that basically are just there to crank you full of caffeine. And, you know, a lot of times they just taste kind of like a soft drink, you know, just with an energy drink twist. Whereas with a lot of these like other ones that, again, are trying to kind of do other stuff, they're not trying to be a soft drink. They really are trying to kind of put the focus on the fact that they are a little bit different as an energy drink. Of course, they still need to taste good, but, like, I wouldn't say that this tastes like a traditional energy drink. I wouldn't say it tastes like, you know, traditional soft drink. It definitely tastes like one of these, like, more froofy energy drinks. Um, which somewhat hurts the taste a little bit. I feel because, again, I feel like with the more traditional energy drinks, they're just trying to, again, they, they're not trying to give you anything else. You know, they're just whatever. It's sugar. It's whatever. Um, with this, you're trying to kind of balance any potential benefits uh, with also having a good flavor. And to that end, I think that this mostly succeeds. I think that the flavors are blended well. I think the the elements of it that I don't like, because there definitely are things, there's like an undercurrent of, again, sort of bougie, healthy energy drinkness that I don't like that much, but I do think for the most part they did a pretty reasonable job of kind of mostly masking that. It's still there, but it's not horrible. And I think that I mean, pretty much the only thing for me that kind of, I would say, would really sort of improve it a little bit is if maybe it did have a little bit more sugar in it so you could kind of emphasize the sweetness a little bit more. Because it is nice that you get, again, the tropical vibe and the peach vibe, but you don't get, like, the the nice sweetness the way that you would with those particular fruits. It's still sweet to an extent, but then, again, you get kind of the tartness. Um, and I'm not the biggest tart guy in the world. But... Uh, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Um, I'm going go with maybe and kind of. Like, I don't know how widespread brain fuel is, and that's what the fuck I'm going to keep calling it. You better believe it. Um, yeah, I don't know, like, how widespread it is, if it's, like, just an Illinois thing, or if it's, like, brain, you know, branched out to other places. And when it comes to, like, any of the other potential benefits, blah, 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 blah. okay, I'm just talking about the flavor. Flavor itself is kind of okay, and it's like, I, I kind of like what they're doing with it. I genuinely think that, you know, again, if it was just sweetened up a little bit or something, I'd probably be more on point with it. But even for what it is, I don't hate it. Um, I don't really, the thing for me is like, as an energy drink, I, I usually just go traditional energy drinks. I don't usually go in for the other type that often, unless I'm doing a review. But... This is one of those things where it's like, could I potentially see myself buying it one time out of a hundred? Sure. But then that's just me personally, again, what I want out of an energy drink. Because ultimately, I don't dislike it, I just, I'm not in love with it or anything. I like some of the things it's doing, but other things I'm not that big on. If I'm recommending it, though, again, it kind of depends on what you want. I'm sure there are plenty of people out there who do like these type of energy drinks. And if that's the case, then this might be something that you should give a shot. Because, like, even for me not being into them, I can kind of go with this one. You know, it's not anything I'm in love with, but, you know, I'm kind of okay with it. So if you're more into that, hopefully it'll be even better for you. 
I do think the flavor is smart, and I think that it works pretty well overall. Yeah, so, but by the same token, if you're somebody who's not really into those type of energy drinks, then obviously this one, I don't think this one's going to change your mind or anything. But, anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, stupendous rest of your year. Folks, come in here, have yourselves a truly brain fuel tastic rest of your life. Use the power of your brain. File two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity into the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important we go over there whenever possible. <sighs> Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully, do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, at the time that I am doing this, it is my one day off for the week. I intend to go inside and enjoy it. Rest my weary bones. Definitely go take a shower because I'm all kinds of cruddy. And hopefully... With the power of brain fuel, I will be able to go over there and accomplish all of those goals. Because brain fuel. And I'm not, again, seriously, go look up my review of the other brain fuel flavor. And if nothing else, go look up the website. Again, I don't know if it's still there. Maybe they've curtailed it or I don't know. But oh my god, please. And if you do, if you do either of those things, please comment to that effect. Let me know. Because, oh my god. But anyway, bye.